What's up guys? I'm at SEMA and you find the craziest things here and you see million dollar rigs but sometimes that's not the coolest thing. Tell the world who you are and what you got and why, why is this so cool? Yeah. So I'm Matt from Mouse Blocker and we make devices that you install in your rigs and your cars and trucks and motorcycles and tractors to keep the mice from nesting and destroying <laughs> the wiring yeah. destroying your cars. Yeah, you don't think about that until it's too late, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, a lot of people say, hey, those ultrasonic things don't work. I'm here to tell you something different. Mm -hmm. Those little plug-in ones that you buy at the home store, mm -hmm. they hit about 40 decibels. Mm -hmm. This little device is a hundred times more violent than those little ones you plug in for your house. Oh, wow. This hits at 85 decibels. Yeah. This shakes the rodent up from the inside out. Oh, it wow. makes a sound that they hear and feel like a jackhammer. Wow. My pro model, actually hits at 115 decibels. That's jet engine range. This is violent to a rodent. We're talking mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, rabbits. Yeah. What was that one you were talking about? Marmots. Marmots? Exactly. <laughs> Things in that side, and I, I just found out recently, we've got a guy up in BC protecting his boats from sea otters. Oh, wow. With these things. Wow. That's crazy. So the story was is him and his buddies go up to the Sierras four wheeling and he saw people with tarps wrapped around their cars. And they're like, what's that all about? Turns out those marmots, the marmots were when eating they backpacking. They're eating they their wires. Their vehicle so the marmots don't eat their wires. <laughs> they need this, man. That's awesome. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Sorry, so keep on going. Yeah. So the pro model, these have a couple different settings to them. The Ooh. highest being 115 uh -huh. decibels, but it also has flashing lights on the side. So what the lights do is they create shadows in the area. Mm -hmm. So the mice come into your engine compartment where it's warm, safe, dark. It's a nice place to have a family. Sure. This makes it violent. Mm -hmm. And with the shadows reflecting around them, mm -hmm. they feel like they possibly could not be alone. Oh. So if we can make them feel uncomfortable, yeah. we can effectively chase them out of the vehicle. Wow. Okay, so let me ask you some, some questions. Uh, hopefully they're not stupid questions, but so you hook this up to your car, you park it, your store, or whatever, yes. and does this thing always run? Like always making noise? Or is so that random? Well, there's it two work? ways it works, right? Yeah. So my 12 volt one wires right to the vehicle's battery. Okay. When you park your car, it comes to life. Mm -hmm. It does its job while it's sitting all night long. When you go to work in the morning and you start your car, this recognizes that, mm -hmm. shuts itself off. Mm -hmm. When you park your car at work, shut your car off, this knows it and comes <laughs> to life to go back to work protecting it again. When, I, when it comes to life, is it literally making a noise I can hear? Well, you just heard it when I turned it so off. So that's the sound so it hears when it's parked. That's the sound that you're going to hear when it's parked. Uh -huh. It's going to be contained to your engine compartment. Oh, so it's okay. Not gonna be, this is in the open air, right? Sure, so, sure. Um, but uh -huh. yes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a noise. The okay. lights are going to start flashing. It's okay. going to start protecting that. Gotcha, gotcha. This one is designed for the tractors and motorcycles, like I said. Mm -hmm. This one you're going to put on the vehicles, on the battery. And you're just gonna let it sit and go. It's gonna fire off. This is not as loud. This is at 85 decibels. Mm -hmm. So you can't really hear it where it's gonna bother you too much. Yeah. But this is gonna be always working. Uh -huh. And if you hook up the gray wire to a switch, you can actually turn this off. Oh, so you okay. that option. Yeah. When it's sitting there, I'm working on it. I don't need this to make noise. Yeah. Flip a switch. They can they can actually fire this off. Ah, that is cool, man. That is very cool. I like it. That's cool. And of course, it's there's a niche market. It's for people who have a problem. All right. Yeah. Well. All right. Yes. Yeah. Or no, they could have a problem. Yeah. Already have the problem. 
Yeah. We don't want it again. Yeah. So our big customers, RV dealers, yeah, yeah. off-road guys, car dealership, new car dealerships, oh, Toyota, yeah. Honda, Volkswagen, yeah. Audi, Chevy, yeah. they all have the problem because the, the insulation that's on the wiring, yeah. all yeah. of the padding and insulation that's in the vehicle yeah. are all great invitations for the rodents. Yeah. And they have all the building materials they could ever need for the sweet nest. So yeah. we make that area not worry where they're going to go. <laughs> I like it. All right. So here's the big question. How much is something like this? So the most expensive one is the plug-in pro model. Uh -huh. It's a hundred bucks. Oh, that's not bad at all. 90 for the 12 volt pro. Uh -huh. And these retail at 60 bucks. Cheaper than the simplest wiring repair. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, man. All right, let's end it with a website. What's your website? www.mouseblocker.com Easy peasy, right on. There you go, guys. If you have a mouse problem or you think you might have a mouse problem, check them out. Mouseblocker.com Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the show.